Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So today I have for you guys Ipsy Glam Bag plus an unboxing. You don't actually get a glam bag in here, which I thought you would, but you don't. I don't know why. Anyways, yeah, the glam bag plus we're gonna see if it's worth it. What do I compare? Like, what do I think of it compared to you know a boxy charm? And so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this together and then we will go ahead and get into the makeup application of everything in here. So the first thing I got is this Paris Hilton Pro DNA um, Advanced uh, or dual, ac dual Action Cleansing Gel. And so this is just what it looks like. I don't have a clip of me applying this one today only because of the fact that I have so many cleansers open already and but I do want to try this out since it is for anti-aging I love anti-aging stuff but yeah so this one actually retails for $39 that's a lot for a face wash to me anyways so yeah there's that and then the next thing we have in here is this Illa mask anti-matter lipstick in midnight and so that's just what the packaging looks like we take it out this is what the actual tube of lipstick looks like and then you it's just a red matte lipstick like so so let's give it a good swatch and yeah really really pigmented and it is matte like it claims so that's not too shabby Okay, the next thing we have in here is this Wonder Beauty Wonder Wondrous Seascape Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my gosh. So that lipstick retailed for $27. And this palette, this eyeshadow palette retails for $25. So this is, I already peeked in here. So this is just what the palette looks like. It only has one matte shade and the rest are shimmer. So from there, you're just kind of like, so what do I do? I'm really drawn to this real pretty seafoam green or even like this pink right here. But yeah, we'll see what I come up with today. And hopefully it's not another gold look, but we got that in there. And like I said, this retails for $25. Okay, the next thing we got in here is this Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent, Translucent Powder. And this one ranges or is $22. It just, oh, and by the way, these are all full size products that come in the glam that come in the glam bag plus. And so this is just what it looks like. I did touch it um, yesterday and it's really, really soft. It's just really, really white. Like super duper white. Okay, and the last thing that came in the palette is this Ofra and Madison Miller collab and this is just a um it's called Ofra Cosmetics Ofra and Madison Miller squad palette collab and it is a face palette obviously and so this is just what it looks like and this is the inside and that's what the inside looks like and when you guys look at this doesn't this look exactly like the Focalore Beauty one that I got. So anyways, this retails for $35. So yeah, and the theme of this bag, what, or this box was called Find Your Light. And what's so funny is that I was just reading the back and it says that they will actually be adding the glam bag back into it starting in October. So, so we are going to go ahead and get into some makeup application. As always, gonna start out with my Wet n Wild 3-in-1 Rose Primer Water. And we're just gonna spray that to all over our face. Take my little fan that I found at the Dollar Tree. Yesterday I forgot to prime before I did my makeup on my BoxyCharm unboxing. Like, I was just out of whack. I hadn't filmed since my date night get ready with me, which is actually going up after these, after my unboxing videos, because I wanted to get these up as early in the month as possible. That's why I didn't upload them last month because I got them like way too late in the month to even for anybody to even be interested <laughs> in watching them. Okay, and then this I got in like my first Ipsy whenever I just got the bag and I did it get ready with me with it. But this is I'll be using the First Aid Beauty First Aid Beauty Ultra Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. I got this stupid song stuck in my head that Brian's always listening to. It's 
Oh, I love the way this smells. It's like, I got the juice. Juice. I don't know why it's stuck in my head. Every time he listens to it, I'm like, why is he listening to that stupid song? It's like the dumbest songs you get stuck in your head. Okay, now for brows, I am going back in with that billion dollar brows brow pin that I got in my BoxyCharm. I really, really ended up liking this. So I am going to go ahead, looking for a spoolie. I am gonna go ahead and fill in those brows. If you hear like fighting, fussing, crying cartoons, it's my chillings. Okay, so brows are done. And so, since this Wanderlust palette, or Wanderlust palette only has one matte, I am going to go ahead and incorporate, and incorporate this, the, the palette that I got in my BoxyCharm, just to use a few of these other mattes in here. And so, yeah, let's just go ahead and prime the eyelids. Going in with my favorite concealer of all time, the uh, Catrice Liquid Camouflage. Oh, and I'm just using the Morphe sponge, still trying it out because my sister said she didn't like it, but I haven't had any issues with it, so I'm still trying it out. I'm gonna go in with that Ciate London powder and just go on a fluffy brush and just set that down. So I'm going to use this brush that I got in an Amazon kit. Mm. So of course I'm going to be taking it the shade Sand Dollar and I'm gonna be buffing that into my crease and I will be using my Wet n Wild crease brush or blending brush. Crease brush, blending brush. And these are very powdery also, just like the same quality as the Violet Gloss one, almost. Going in with this Farrah um, 35E Tapered Blending Brush, and I'm going back into the Violet Gloss Palette, and I'm going to use the Terracotta shade, and do the same thing kind of as with the um, sand dollar. So next I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade black and I'm going to be taking that on this Farrah number three mini tapered brush and we're winging it at this point <laughs> we're just gonna see what i come up with pray for me pray right now as you're watching my video that this look comes out okay Ooh, our is a little bit choppy i'm gonna go back in with the terracotta brush and try to blend out that edge just so we don't lose our layers of color. This black isn't really black. It's more of like a charcoal gray and it has a sheen to it. Okay, so I think that that's as good as we're gonna get with that black because I don't yeah, we're gonna do the same thing to the other eye. We're gonna cut the crease again today, but we're going to be doing a halo eye this time. 
couldn't tell already. Okay, so I'm gonna take the shade Coastal and I'm gonna place that where we put all of the blue. I'm going to take that on the, this Farrah number 205 Fly Wings brush. It just looks like this. I'm tapping off the excess. And let's go for it. I'm gonna do the same to the other eye just because, and then I'm gonna go in and spray it and see if we can get that to intensify. Okay, I'm gonna go try to build that black up because at this point, that blue is way more intense than the black. <laughs> I'm gonna take the shade Sea Foam to add a little bit of brightness back to my eye, just a little bit, and I'm going to take I'm going to take this Lexi 246 Precision Crease Brush, get some of that Sea Foam shade on it. I think I'm getting some, and we're gonna put that in the center of our halo. You must tell. I'm gonna have to spray this one too. I don't think you guys can tell. Okay, anyways, going back in with that Hank and Henry Blickety Black Eyeliner, and I'm just gonna do a quick wing again. You guys, if you struggle with doing eyeliner, like this Hank and Henry eyeliner makes it so flippin' easy. And then for mascara today, I'll be using the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. It has that really popular wand that's like the better than the sex wand. So yeah, it has that really popular wand, a little bit bigger, I would think. Yeah. And so we're just gonna get, do a quick coat because we are gonna go in with some falsies for this extra dramatic look. Oh, and I got this mascara in last month's Baki, Baki, Boxy Charm. <laughs> okay, going in with my Kiss number 11 lashes, I'll be popping these on, and then I will be right back. Okay, guys, lashes are on, and so we're gonna jump into the face. Okay, so we're, we're gonna go. We're gonna go in with our Wet n Wild foundation today, and I have mine in the shade Golden Beige. And I don't apply too much of this. I've learned for my skin to like a lot. Less is more for my skin with this. Most definitely. Or it'll start to look cakey and just it's not good for business. So yeah. Let's go ahead and start blending that out with our sponge. Okay, going in with our Contrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. Gonna highlight and conceal. Even though I don't want to because my face already looks like crap, I'm gonna go in with that Ciate London setting powder. And then like I said, it's super white, so we'll see what it looks like. And start setting our face with that. So 
So we're gonna go in and finish the lower lash line. So first I'm going to be taking this Hollywood and Vine Coal Velvet Velvety Touch Smooth Coal Eyeliner by Hollywood and Vine in the shade black. And I got this in last month's Boxy Charm as well. Not bad, that actually is really smooth and really easy to use. So I'm gonna go in with Sand Dollar and buff that with the same exact brush. I'm just gonna pinch it, but buff that along that lower lash line. Taking it that pencil brush and we're gonna use, um, this is the Moda BMX 420 detail brush. And I'm going to be using the terracotta shade to also smudge out that lower lash line. That's it for the lower lash line. Other than mascara, going back in with that Tarte Big Ego. And we're just gonna apply that to our lower lashes. For my inner corner, I'm gonna take this little Eco Tools brush. And I'm going to go back in with the shade Sea Foam and obviously put that on my inner corner. Yes. Okay, so eyes are officially done. For the face, I'm taking my Makeup Revolution palette and I'm gonna take these two shades right here in bronze slash contour. And I will be using this other brush that I got out of that Amazon brush kit. For the face, we're going or for the rest, we're going to be taking this Ofra palette, and I'm going to be taking this essential shade for the blush, and just applying that, applying that to the cheeks. And then I think I'm going to take this highlighter shade right here on the end. It still has a pink hue to it like the rest, but it's a little more golden, so I'm going to take that one. So for lips, I'm going to be taking my Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner in the shade Ready for Red. This eye is a lot with this lip, so I might not wear this all day. <laughs> and then trying out this Ill Mask or Isla Mask lipstick in the shade Midnight. If I was going to keep this on, it would have to be nighttime. The lipstick's not drying. I'll keep this lip on when we do a rundown. Okay, so. Let's talk about the eyeshadow palette. I don't think for the price that it's terrible, but I do wish that it had more mattes. And this shade wasn't as vibrant as I thought it was gonna be, but it is definitely better for like, yeah, you can see like that little spotlight that I have on my eyes is that sea foam color, and then the inner corner is that sea foam color. So this shade is definitely better for that. I'm glad I didn't try to use it as an all over lid shade because I don't think that it would have worked that way. Now, this. This isn't bad. It's not what I would expect it to be coming from Ofra, but then again, I've also never tried Ofra products. But this is the Focalore Beauty one. So I just have to believe the best in Ofra. And because of what I've been through with Focalore Beauty, I'm pretty sure Focalore, Focalore Beauty copied Ofra and they're the same price. This is a well-known brand. This is a not so well-known brand. But like I said, it's not terrible. It's not my favorite just because I'm not really into pink tone highlights. The blush is really pretty though. They're not as soft and creamy as you would think. And I definitely did have to build up the blush to get it where I wanted it. So lipstick is nice and creamy. I can't complain about it. I just decluttered a red lipstick. So I guess what goes around comes around. <laughs> and then the powder. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to be a fan of this, but I don't know. I definitely got to keep trying it out with a different sponge, a different foundation, and just play with it, finagle it a little bit. But as of right now, I don't like how it looks, but I wasn't liking how my makeup looked 
before I even got to the powder. I wasn't liking my face at all. So yeah, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and switch my lip and then I'll be right back to finish off the video. Okay, so new lip. So I went in with Revlon Colorstay in Nude and Bare Minerals in Sugar Gloss. And now I'm going to go ahead and set my face. Gotta curl my eyelashes one more time. Spraying the primer water. And then spraying my sponge with some e.l.f. Glow Dewy Mist. Damp this all over the face. Almost forgot like always to set my brows. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay guys, so this is a completed look. I do like the box and everything I got in it. The only thing I haven't had the chance to try is that face wash. And maybe if I remember when I get I'm finally able to open it, I will update you guys on how it is, what it does if I forget, you guys remind me. So anyways, I love you guys. I, oh, I don't know, did I tell you guys how much the box was worth? It's worth $148. So it was worth about the exact same amount as the BoxyCharm, was, BoxyCharm this month was worth. So I mean, it's kind of up to you at this point. You pay $21 for BoxyCharm, you pay 27 and some change because of shipping and uh, shipping and handling for the Ipsy. So it's kind of up to you. I will continue to get both. I like getting both because what I don't get in one box, I get in the other box and I end up liking it all together. And that's like 50 bucks a month for a whole lot of makeup and most of it being high end. And so let me know if you guys are subscribed to Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, if you've wanted to subscribe, what you think about it, um, or if you did, or, or like, let, or let me know what you got in your Ipsy. Okay, so I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.